Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. In this step, we're going to start attaching the fins, and it's important to do the back fins first. Otherwise, you'll never be able to use this later because it slides over the tube like this, and if the front fins are in the way, it won't slide all the way to the back. So we're going to take our fins, the back ones, and we're going to test fit them into the slots. Okay, like this. And you can see I've got a gap right here. Now this was on purpose. I made these a little bit long because they're glued at an angle. We need to custom fit them. And also because the fairings can expand. So if your fairings, if you separated them and really pushed them on hard, um, it's going to be a longer tab here. So now we need to sand the edge. And you'll notice that we want to be on a little bit of an angle on the bottom when we sand this. Okay, so I got a long way to go yet. Okay, so I'm going to continue sanding and get both of them just right and then I'll be right back. Okay, at this point I've finished sanding my fins, but I want to make a point here is if, if you have a gap between your fin and your fairing, that is better to have a gap there than to have the tab being too short because then it's not bonded to the tube. Because uh, I can always fill the gap on the outside with epoxy, but on the inside it's really hard to fix that. So it's better to leave that tab long than to have it too short. Um, so at this point, I got them to where I like them. I'm just doing a final test fit to make sure that everything fits nicely. All right, just like going to be like that. And I'm going to slide this forward. Now, this time I'm switching to thick super glue um, because I want the thick to be able to, you know, if there's any gaps in there, I want that to be able to, to try to fill them as much as possible. I'm going to slide this one here. And you got to kind of do both of them at the same time. So just put some super glue on that tab. Slide this over and then push them in. And then we want to hold them until this dries or hardens. Okay. We want to try to put this kind of in the middle of the fin. Uh, that gives us the best chance of the fin being uh, both of them straight. And you can see I'm just holding them here until that super glue catches. Later we'll come back and we'll put a fillet on. Uh, we're going to use epoxy for that fillet, uh, make it nice and strong. And it's gap filling, so if there's any gaps it will fill that just as well. We don't want to use super glue here because it's really not adding a lot of extra strength. And it's really, it's harder to fill those gaps. And it makes a bigger mess. 